Hello everybody, it's me, it's Illy. Um, today I am doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. Now, um, I feel like I have been neglecting my bookish people here a little bit. I know I make a lot of Stray Kids videos. Kate called me out on that. I know. I just love my boys. Gotta support. But um, I feel like I just haven't been making as many like bookish, even though I did like two bookish videos in a row the other week. Like, who am I? There's a couple newer people from my bookish videos, which is surprising, but it's, I think from Kate's um, shadow, I got maybe like like 80 of you guys here now. I don't know. So, but there's people here who are, like want the bookish content. So I'm like, let me provide. Um, I'm here to please the people. And I was like, I have, my reading's been really bad this year so far, like awful. So I'm like, what the fuck kind of, am I, what am I gonna talk about if I'm not reading? So I was like, let me find an old, like a tag to do. And let me just stalk some people. So I was stalking people and I was like, well, I haven't been making videos long. I think I've started making videos end of October, beginning of November. Do I remember? No. So I'm like, I'm st I haven't made any tag videos. Like I'm not there yet. So I was like, oh, the Unpopular Opinions book tag, great. I thought a tag would be good, so that way you guys can kind of see more of my taste or more of my things. I don't really know. I don't know. We're just going to do a tag because, like, minimal effort, I guess. I don't fucking know. Let's just start. I also don't know, I also don't know who created this. I just have the questions pulled up. Um, a popular book or series that you didn't like? Um, I could do a lot, a lot of books for this. We're going to go with the series really quick because I didn't finish the series. That is... The Knife and Ever Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Now, I, everything I've ever read by Patrick Ness, I love. I still want to get my hand on a lot more of his books. But, like, I did not like this. I just don't like dystopians and, like, weird, like, um, post-apocalyptic, I guess. I don't know. The concept was, like, genius, I thought. And it was really cool. I just, it wasn't there for me. I didn't care about the characters. I didn't care about what was going on. The dog was the best character. I will never forgive him. Oh, my God. But, like, I just... I would love to continue just because, like, the spines are beautiful and this is beautiful. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just I just couldn't care. There's a lot of people who are just like, oh, my God, like, stop. Like, I just didn't care. Sorry. Um, other um, books. I could do, like, Ready Player One and, like, Crazy Rich Asians. I don't know. I could do a lot, probably. A popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you love. This is kind of, like, not right. A lot of my answers are, like, not right, but, like... <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go with, ho hold on real quick, the Here's of Olympus series. I know Rick Riordan is, like, the biggest fucking man on the planet. We all love Uncle Rick. I understand this. So I know that this isn't, like, hated, hated, but I know a lot of people who love Percy Jackson just do not continue with his books, and they don't finish the series, they don't even bother. And a lot of it is Jason, I understand. Fuck Jason. <laughs> but, like, um, this, I love this series. It's not even like I love this more than Percy Jackson's. that my favorite, one of my favorite Rick Riordan books ever, one of my favorite books of all time is in this series. It's very important to me. The, um, The House of Hades, that's one of my, my favorite all time. I just think about that book and cry. Cause it's, I just know a lot of people don't continue with the series and they just don't enjoy it as much. But like, I don't know, it's gonna have such a special, more, like more special than Percy Jackson probably. And there's still, oh, it's a rich and diversity. I get it, Jason. Like, yeah, like, I understand. But get past the first book, y'all. Just do it. Number three, a love triangle where the main character ended up with a person you did not want them to end up with um, or an OTP that you don't like. Um, I can, okay, let's do the OTP I don't like. Fucking Ginny and um, Harry. I fucking hate Ginny and Harry so fucking much. I just don't like Ginny. I just, I wanted, I was all about Drury. I know it's not canon. I don't give a fuck. I will 100% be like, they were meant to be. Um... I'm gonna, I don't do a lot of love triangles, and when I do, I usually do root for what the outcome is, like, at the end. I'm gonna go with one that might not be correct, because it wasn't really a love triangle, kind of, I don't know. But, um, what the fuck is this called? I'll Give You the Sun by Jenny Nelson, which is one of my, like, least favorite books ever. I fucking hated this book. But, like, it's told from, like, twins, and, like, when the brother is younger he has like a crush on this dude but then when they're older the sister well the sister kind of had a crush on him too didn't she and then she ends up like crushing him and then she, they end up together the brother um the, bro the sister and that boy but i was like fuck them just don't don't give them the hetero shit like that's disgusting um i hate that i just wanted to bring this book up because it's unpopular opinions book and i know people love this book but I fucking hate it. It was, br I've seen this all the time and I just never wanted to pick it up. And then it, someone was like, LGBT, LGBT, LGBT. Like everyone was like, yeah, there's gay characters, gay, queer, queer, queer. The brother's gay. And I'm like, oh, I need it. And then 
you literally get like nothing about it and you literally get his story gets cut so short like do not brand a book as lgbt if you're gonna fucking not give your lgbt character any kind of anything and then make it all about the fucking cliche heteronormative bullshit like fuck you like stop trying to act like you're inclusive just to not give your queer character any kind of anything they didn't get like a fucking good storyline fuck that shit a popular book genre that you hardly reach for is dystopian do dystopians count like the hunger games and all that i don't know high fantasy is high fantasy popular i don't know what i i kind of read everything i don't like westerns i don't like mysteries i don't tend to read for like super high adult fantasy or like um what the fuck was the other one i said i don't remember i said it a popular beloved character that you do not like we're just gonna go with dumbledore um actually it's really sad i don't like hagrid that much it, you all are gonna crucify me i know it was unpopular opinion i f fuck dumbledore fuck dumbledore we're gonna do that but i kind of didn't like hagrid Hag i know hagrid's so important and he's one of the only people who like loved and supported harry i get it he's kind of annoyed me a little bit he pissed me off a little bit but like i hate dumbledore like fucking people give like snape redemption and like love snape and like all about that fuck that so um fuck dumbledore I'm sorry, Haggard, you annoy me sometimes. That's what we're gonna say. Next one, a popular author you can't seem to get into. Do I have one? Do I have one? Do I have one? There's like a lot of authors whose books I read and I just didn't really like, and so I didn't really bother to like continue with. Does that count? Or there's a lot of authors where I'm just like, and I'm like, I'm not like eager to pick up something by them or something. I don't even know if people have like more than other books or something. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Who's a popular author? Um, I guess I could say like Lauren Oliver. I've read something or two by her. Wasn't like the biggest fan. Didn't really care. I really don't know. Like Dean Koontz, I read something by him. I didn't really care too much about. Should I, Kate, watch this so you can fight me over this? Uh, Haruki Murakami. I've only read one by him though, and it was like the random one. It wasn't like one of his like big popular ones, I think. But I just I didn't really care for it. I just was like, oh, okay. So, I mean, I'm kind of wary. I still want to read more by him. I'm just kind of wary on picking up more from him. I don't know. What else? A classic author, D.H. Lawrence. Um, I read Sons and Lovers by him, and I didn't like it. His writing kind of, uh... I just I felt like there's a lot of issues with it. Like, the pacing and, like, the storyline was, like, a little... What? But, um, so I kind of wary to pick up more by him. But I, I know he has beautiful, I've read some beautiful quotes from him, and I'm like, where is it? Because it wasn't in that book. So we'll go with anything I just said, I guess. I don't know. A popular book trope that you're tired of seeing. Examples, Lost Princess, Corrupt Roller, Love Triangles, etc. Um, I guess Love Triangles, but I mean, like, if, whatever. I am sick of seeing the everybody has to get paired up together shit. Like, you can't just let people be, like, not in a relationship. Like, a main character, side character, everybody has to pair up together. If you are, like, a part of that group, like, of, like, the main character and, like, the friends, everybody has to end up with somebody. Like, stop. People can be single. We're lonely. Stop putting... And also, like, everyone has to be, like, straight in the end and, like, all this shit. Like, if you have, like, a bi or somebody character where it always has to end up in a hetero relationship or, like, if it's not really, like, super, like, explored and explained, like, their actual sexuality, but they end up in a hetero relationship, what? I hate the whole, um you're a normal person and then you wake up one day and you have your powers and you're like gonna like roll the world and like how they're just like automatically like no shit like i can fight into the shit i'm like you literally haven't been trained you're 16 what also the absentee parents i hate that like you're 15 16 running around doing shit like my mom would have been texting my ass my mom still texts my ass i'm 21 now she's like what you about like constantly so like fake Next is a popular series that you have no interest in reading. That is anything by Cassandra Clare, anything by Sarah J. Mass, the Illuminate books, anything that BookTube loves, anything that like everybody loves. Don't give a fuck about those. Sorry, never gonna happen. Next is the saying goes, the book is always better than the movie, but what movie or TV show adaptation do you prefer more than the book? Ooh, I didn't even read that before. Um, I guess we can go with uh, any of the Stephen King I've read. Now, like, when I talk about, like, Carrie and The Shining and, like, The Body, there's a lot of those that, like, even though I love the book or I enjoy the book, I sometimes, I'm like, oh, the movie's so much better. Or, like, I just would rather watch. Oh, Dolores Claiborne's one of those because I really didn't like the book that much, but I love the movie because, like, um, Cassie Bates is my queen. Um, there's, like, books. Um, Twilight, I guess. I really, I can never finish any of the books. I can't get through any of the books. I can get through the first one. I just can't fucking 
continue with the series. But I can watch all of the movies in succession. I can, I'll never get tired of the movies. Like, that's one. A lot of, like, books that I, like, really loved and, like, movies that I really loved also. But there's a lot that I feel like you cannot compare the two and I feel like they're different. Like, Perks of Being a Wallflower. Like, the, the book is so fucking good. Like, but do I love the movie more? I don't know. I've watched the movie more than I've read the book. And the movie is more important to me than the book, I think. It's, like, done more for me. But there's also ones, like... Love Simon. I love um, Simon versus Hobo Sabies and Jenna, right? That is what, like, it's a gr it's a really good book, but the movie, I think, is more important to me. I think it did it a little bit better, and especially because we have an actual gay man as the director and opposed to the book written by, like, a cis, white, straight female. So that, I guess you could, that would be one, I guess. I don't know. Let me look. What if I, it was, like, Percy Jackson, guys. <laughs> Those movies are so good. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, is that his name? I don't know. Like, I, you can go with, like, cl like that shit. Like, when you, like, talk about things that, like, people really just know the movies more, like, Nicholas Sparks, I guess. Do I have Nicholas Sparks here? I don't know. I, those, um, did I say anything? Ooh, you know what I really like? Fried Green Tomatoes at the Woodstock Cafe by Fanny Flagg. That's, a, I love the book so much, and the book is a lot more queer then the movie, the movie tried to be very subtle, uh, but I, that movie is so important to me. It's like my childhood right there, so I think that could count, I guess. Should I get back in frame? I don't know. That's just, there's just a few, I guess. That is it. That's it. This is a very quick tag. My video is probably, probably like 100 million minutes, but um, hopefully you learned some shit about my reading taste, maybe, or you see how I felt about books. I just wanted to make bookish content because I don't do that anymore, but... Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I think I'm almost at 100 subscribers like while I'm filming this. So that's really cool because I just started like not too, too long ago. But thank you guys for watching. If you agree, if you want to answer any of these, um, if you want to talk to me about any of these books, if you want to like disagree with me, that can happen too. Talk to me in the comments. I just like talking to people, I guess. I'm lonely. I'm going to be like um, Drew, you know, Drew Bonson, where it's like I'm fucking lonely leave me leave me a fucking comment because i'm very lonely that's me i guess we're the same person actually i'm more of garrett watts i'm more garrett i am such a garrett where am i going with that is it thank you all for being here and watching i love you all boop 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 boop